I did not even look if there was any oncoming cars. <laughs> Just walk. I don't think there is. Hi guys. Hello. Where, Where are we up to? SA. Oh yeah. That place. Huh? That place. That, that place. place. Mark, is your first time driving? At SA? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Klein, are you driving? Cam says it's amazing, so I'm keen. <laughs> nah, sick track. Anyway, we're off to round two of Drifting SA series, so yeah, yeah we got finally got some more Vic boys coming up. <laughs> Marcus is in his awesome S13. Cool. Want to tell us about it? Sure. Uh, it's an S13 <laughs> too, it's still running an SR20, like about 300 kilowatts. Me and Danny here rebuilt the engine this week. Danny and I. Danny and I. <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It does skids. I like going backwards in it. We're gonna fight you for the freaking extreme entry, that's for sure. Howie, I'm so keen for that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Keen as. Keen as for this uh, layout too. Some backy right. tandems. Backy tandems. Oh yeah. Damn. Uh, let's go. I want your rear bunker in his door. <laughs> that can be probably hap that can probably happen. Yeah. We just ran the gauntlet. 411 k's. Look at that. Past empty. That was sketchy. But we're here, here at the bend now. I've just been informed there's roll racing tonight, so I think we're gonna try to do that as well as practice. See what happens. But um, Clyde doesn't know what run the gauntlet means, so it means basically pushing something to the limit. I actually don't even know. I think that's what it means. It's gonna be so embarrassing <laughs> for you. <laughs> that's what it means. <laughs> running the gauntlet is like pushing the limits type of thing. Like that's running the gauntlet, you know? I just have never heard that. Saying I think that's what it is. It is what. Yeah. Anyway, we're here. I'm gonna fill up. I've heard that saying once the gauntlet, and that was not what it was intended. Uh, shut up, nerd. What is it? Sorry. To run the gauntlet means to partake in a form of corporal punishment, in which the party judged is guiltily forced to run between two rows of soldiers who strike out and attack them with sticks or other weapons. Yeah, see, it's sort of the same thing. Like, I could have been attacked by being stuck in the middle of nowhere with no fuel. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, driving into our favourite place in Australia. Do you agree? It's probably my favourite place for sure. <laughs> my favourite noodles. What are they? What brand? What brand Secret. are they? What brand are they? Trade Secret. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> See how we go. Something's definitely wrong here. They're just fixing a fire out on the start line, so you can drive, drive around, just don't skid. Thanks, man.
So the car's getting super hot. No, not car, sorry, the exhaust and the manifold are getting super hot, like glowing. And uh, we're just getting Dan from Springy to log in remotely and suss it out because something doesn't seem right. It gets hot when you're driving on track, then when you stop at the idle, it gets even hotter. So, yeah, so we'll see what happens. All right, so Dan has changed some things in the idle. Let's see how it goes. I made a dumb mistake and I left my wheel loose. So all my drives, all my studs are destroyed. Uh, probably. So, gotta, yeah, pull all this twin culvers part of stuff apart, which is really awkward and hard. Try and get it done. It's already late, so we're gonna miss out on the rest of practice. And I don't even know about uh, wheel studs yet. So, thank you so much to Danny for here helping me out. Welcome, mate. Yeah, yeah. So annoyed. But it is what it is. So, I'll start pulling the Calvers off. Good morning. We are on our way now to the track. It's currently 7.20, I think. So we're a little bit past uh, when we're meant to get in there. So the gate's open at 7. I've got a mate, Blake Barwell, bringing down some wheel studs. So massive thank you to him. Some extended GK Tech studs. So hopefully get, get there, chuck them in, and have it all ready for practice. Uh, my handbrake line did split. So we've done a bit of a dodgy fixer all up, put some silicon on where the split was, then put a hose around it, I get a cut a hose down the down centre, wrap that around it, then taped it up, and then zip tied it all. Hopefully it doesn't leak. I might actually stop at the server and get some brake fluid just because I might have to keep talking it up. Um, but yeah, see you at the track. So we left off last night. We got the GDR up here. I uh, don't have a great hammer, so hopefully this does work for me, but just obviously chucking them in. Hopefully they're not gonna they're not gonna hit the ground. So chucking all the wheel studs. Now these wheel studs are actually front studs, so I can't use them. But luckily Hayden with a R32 sedan, the wheel one's absolutely immaculate. It has an actual spare GDR wheel hub with extended studs in it. So gonna chuck this in. Hopefully I need to get some Loctite first, and then get it in, get it all together. This thing is immaculate. We're all back on the ground, everything's fixed. We better go out. So Kalani's bought me some new gloves for my birthday. So thank you Kalani, I feel like a professional racer right now. <laughs>
my minions. I'm a dumbass. I had a bucket under there for my catch can, like catch can oil and diff oil and all that shit. And I reversed back and it bloody went ever. Everywhere. Thanks, Kalani, for getting that. Somewhere on the mic, you got somewhere on the bucket. Yeah! Alright, let's go. We're gonna get more dirt. What are you here doing for? I'm taking some. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What the fuck is that doing? <laughs> Give me that sand, bro. I need it. <laughs> Oh, 
On your Marcus. So GK Tech sponsored, my bad. Uh, the Sleekest Bears oh. are a sponsor of the event. And then Cam Martin in that really cool, awesome sounding R33 four door. On some really cool work motion wheels off a of gas. Here they come into the first corner. Yeah, big smoke show from Woody. No surprise there. Wood loves to get on the gas here. Oh, that's sorry, that's my, that's my bad. Oh, what's happened oh, here? Okay. Cam Martin, hand out the window, something's happening to the car. And he's off the track. Woody slaying that set, dancing out of the place on the way through. Hey, look, since he started on Ganador, you know what else I hate? Woody? No, I no. Oh, Woody's, no, Woody's a good dude. Woody's a really good dude. Um, normally he's packed up by this point because he's blown something up, but Woody's a great dude. It's good to see his cars behaving itself. Now, look, you're a Victorian, and two of the main Victorian names love this. One of them a lot more than the other one. Ew. You know what I really hate, though? What's that? Bonnet exit screamers. Yeah, look, I'm not the biggest fan of those, to be honest. I just, no. I don't like. I like them to be in the normal spot, you know. Yeah. I like, thing, I like my holes to point down here. Exits. Oh, no, it looks like Cam Martin's having an yeah, issue. I hate to see that. He's looking into the bonnet. Which hopefully, it's can see very conveniently, but hopefully it's something he can fix. But Cam, being a good boy, trying to stay in the car until safe to get there. If you uh, if you do put a bonnet exit screamer on your car, is it a bonnet exit screamer if there's no bonnet? Yeah, I'll, I'll pay it. What are you going to say, Kalani? Very sad, very, very sad. Um, sounds like the head just uh, cooked itself. And I'm going to assume zero uh, cracked oil pump, which I said at the last Keeper Eat event. Uh, should have done it, and it sucks, so now we're just drinking and hopefully uh, go watch our friends win. So, oh, I'm drinking. Well, actually, no one's drinking. We're not drinking. We're sober. But, um, we're going to go hopefully watch Marcus and Jason Farron win. So, we'll see you soon. See ya. What happened? Yeah, you can't feel this shit. You've got to zoom in. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus and Kathy get the win. Oh, my God. 
Okay. I'll say you said an SR sounds good. I never said that. SR sound like shit. <laughs> Look at you. Hey, your RB doesn't sound too good anymore. Hey, my RB still sounds better than I was, even though I was knocking. <laughs> and you know it. Scott Miller in the lead. In the lead. Get back there, son! Both stars, son. I'm eight, I'm eight, man. 